Buonasera, Pichotti. Come state oggi? That's good evening, kids. How are all of you this evening? Today I'll be doing a review of my genetic ancestry, and like the title suggests, I'm a Genoese Cuban, though my mother is Polish and Anglo-Saxon. Um, if you want to read the full thing here, um, you can pause it, but this goes into how northern Italians are near the Alpine Mountains, more s genetically similar to French and German populations, while southern Italians tend to be more genetically similar to Balkan and Greek populations. It talks about how Greece and Turkey had a large impact on Roman culture, and the legendary founders were Romulus and Remus, right? Uh, Greek Etruscan influence and uh, Middle East, North African influence on Western civilization. Um, Going into the Germanic a little bit, why maybe it shows up mostly Germanic, could be because of my mother's Anglo-Saxon side mixing with the Genoese side from my dad's. Uh, and then real quick here, it'll say, uh, while the Romans failed to conquer the Germans, Germanic culture was still influenced by the Romans, and many Germanic tribes converted to Christianity based on Roman influence. Uh, during the Middle Ages, Germany was the primary territory of the Holy Roman Empire, and during this period uh, of German history, the emperors of Austria and Germany called themselves Kaisers, a direct derivative of the Roman emperor title, Caesar. Um, some French blood here, right, from uh, the Genoese, but also because I know that my paternal grandmother has some French blood as well. Um, Southern Central Slavic, uh, instead of Polish, this shows up, could be due to the Balkan blood I have from the Italian side, uh, Scandinavian from the English side, and uh, Japanese, 2.4%, that could be from, uh, uh, you know, a possible connection between East Asians and Native Americans, um, but, you know, I have no familial recollection of being Japanese, nobody in the family says that, I don't know if that's true or not, um, uh, not an otaku, but I like anime, so that's, you know, kind of cool. Um, DNA land, uh, you can see here, Southwest European, uh, Scandinavia, England here, um, I'm sorry, no, Scandinavia here, Scotland here, England here, kind of connected to Germans as the overlay, uh, South Central European, uh, again, highlighting here Genoa and Rome down here, along with, uh, Central Europe, which would be Germany, right? Um, North Slavic, see this got the Polish, right? Uh, Northern Slavic, uh, Finnish 5.8, you know, up here, uh, Ashkenaz, right here, some Poles of Ashkenazi blood. Um, again, here, uh, you could see, and check out this page, uh, Fat Ernie of the Great, I got tons of crispy memes in it. Um, uh, let me see here, right here, History of Genoa, uh, Frankish, Carolingian, Lombard, independent to Lombard de facto Frankish rule when the Franks ruled it from 774 to 885. Uh, ending with Germanic Holy Roman rule from 962 to 1801, so quite some time. Uh, the Genoese in ancient times were inhabited by Ligures, Greeks, and Etruscans, um, who are the Etruscans, one of the original Italic tribes eventually conquered by Rome and intermixed with Carthaginians and Greeks. Uh, Republic of Genoa here, you can see Genoa, um, you know, expanded their influence to Sicily, uh, Corsica, Sardinia, um, with... Uh, relations to the Spanish crown, uh, and uh, down here in Gibraltar, Crimea, the Balkans, and even down to Israel, which I'll get into with my tree ancestry uh, in a bit. Um, here's this page. It goes over Italians in Cuba, mostly descended from the Genoese and Venetians, um, famous Italo-Cubans like Oreste Ferreira and uh, Francesco Federico Falco, um, Alberto Herrera Franchi, um, people like that. It goes into that history a little bit. Um, so then here, if you go into uh, the breakdown I have from my true ancestry, you have appeared from my mother's side, the Danish Vikings, um, a little bit of French, uh, the Frank, the actual Genoese, but Frank here in, in Italy, you know, uh, down here, Romans, Catalans, I'll get into Catalans in a little bit, Thurgy, that's a Germanic tribe, probably from the Polish, um, you could see here, uh, Genoese and Catalans, trade diaspora in early modern Sicily, talks about the relations there, um, you can find articles on it. Google. Um, you could see here, uh, you know, on my tree ancestry, if you click on the Frank ish ancient haplogroup breakdown, it'll say that Lombards are descended from Franks but intermixed with Italics. Uh, on my ancient PCA from my tree ancestry, we have Franco medieval Villa Magna Italy, a North Central Lombard, Thurgy tribe, Frankish Lombard Italy, Germanic mixed tribe, Beldbeaker Scotland, Alemannic Bavaria, that's Germanic, uh, Roman Emperor era. Empuries, uh, Bellbeaker, Houndstaten, Germany, um, 
here's my dad's PCA charts. It's got the Spanish and French Basque here, um, Spanish and uh, North Italian, Tuscan, West Sicilian, Italian Abruzzo, uh, Southeast, Southwest English, West, North, East German, South Dutch. Um, you know, here's deep dive, and this is on my father's. It doesn't work for me, but it does for him. Well, it's more clear for him. Uh, his will show up giving you uh, uh, the clear breakdown of my father's father's side. Uh, Imperial Rome, Mausoleo Augusto, that's the uh, uh, where they buried uh, Roman emperors and such, Iberian Piedmont, um, you know, stuff that I guess comes part and package with being Genoese. Um, here it'll break down for you some more. Uh, Roman Hispania, uh, Iberian here, some of the Frankish. This is again my dad's, uh, my ancestry, and it's you know very similar to mine. Um, Crusader Knight here because of Genoese influence during the Crusades, if you look that up. Um, Etruscans here. Uh, going into the, uh, the, hold on, the Crusades here. Um, you could see that uh, Genoa had a major history in the Crusades and, and influence there. French Knight, uh, Lebanon, uh, again with the English and the Sicilian here, and, and even the uh, near Israel and such. You know, during the uh, 12th century, uh, England uh, had rule over uh, southern Italy. Um, that's mine. I think I got everything here that I'd prepared. Oh, uh, Ancestor DNA, when they were good, had a better breakdown for me, and it included. Caucus blood uh, again from that uh, the Genoese side, kind of cool. Um, here on uh, my ancestry, if you go under ancient haplos for West Sicilian, you see Hellenic Roman, Roman Hispania, uh, Hellenic Roman, Roman Hispania, ancient Greek Roman, Hellenic Roman, uh, ancient Greek Thracian, right? So on and so forth. Um, you click on here the Lombards of Sicily. You know these are people from Piedmont, Liguria. Names you see on the Mitre ancestry again. Liguria is the modern-day region of Italy where Genoa is. Um, uh, you go here, Sicilian hap. No, we got into that. Okay, migration uh, ancestry DNA uh, gave you know me the Cuban migration, which of course would be primarily Spanish. You know that's it is what it is. You know down to the Canary Islands and then eventually into the Caribbean and then from Cuba because it highlights which one it is specifically. It knows the identification markers, identifies it as, uh, you know, Cuban emigrating uh, into the U.S. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I, I hope the video was informative enough for you folks. Again, once again, I'll say check out Fatterini the Great. I got all kinds of crispy memes here. Uh, stuff about Masonic conspiracies, all conspiracy, of course. Um, cool stuff like uh, Cuban actor Cesar Romero who uh, used to play uh, not only the Joker from Batman but Italian gangsters all the time uh, some pictures of you know big cities in Cuba um, you know Columbus and the quest for Jerusalem you know again with the Crusades and such uh, you know Spanish Inquisition jokes um, you know uh, let me see what else you know the Spanish Inquisition from the Bosque lands to Sicily uh, other things breakdown of Italic tribes uh, other things, jokes, humor, you know. And of course, you have Tony Montana, you know. You know what's funny? If you if you have ever seen the show in Italy, um, Gomorrah, which is about the Neapolitan mob, in the first episode, there were a bunch of uh, young mafiosi who were saying, "Io sono Antonio Montana," you know, I am Antonio Montana, you know, famously shouting that. And uh, yeah, so uh, I hope the video was uh, informative. Uh, I hope all of you have a great day, and uh, here's my schmexy face, you know. There we go, you know, a couple of years ago me, you know. Don't mind the fact that I'm Catholic, you know. I love everybody. All right. Uh, ciao. Stade bon.